Oh, I'm going to go over some more basics on the 3D view here. This is my second tutorial on the 3D view itself. Last time I showed you how to grab, rotate, and scale objects and how to add new objects. By default, I'm in the top view here. I'm going to hit space and add a few objects. I'll add a UV sphere here. and I'll grab it and move it over here with G. And I'll hit zero on my number pad to go into camera view and you can see the two objects. I'm going to show you how to select more than one object. Like most things, you can shift select, but remember it's right click to select an object, so I'll hit that box and I'll shift select for that sphere. At this point, you can uh, grab and move both of them. But if I hit S to scale, and I hit X to scale on the X axis, you'll see that it stretches out both objects. And rotating rotates both objects. And when you're scaling and rotating, it is going to scale and rotate based on the center point if you're scaling just one object. You'll notice that each object as we select them has a little pink circle in the middle. That's its center point. That's where all the rotating and scaling comes based on. When you rotate it, it rotates based on where that point is. Well, when you have more than one object selected, it is going to find the center, well, by, defo by default, it finds the center between the multiple uh, center points and that's what it will rotate or scale on. So if I start adding, if I'll go into top view, I'll add a few more objects. I'll add an isosphere and I'll add a cone. And I'll go back into camera view by hitting zero on your number pad. And I will shift select a few of these objects and I will grab, uh, actually I will rotate and you'll see it's rotating based on the center of all those objects. Uh, also, I want to show you, I showed you how to shift select stuff. You can also press A. A is select all or unselect. So if you have an object selected and you press A on your keyboard, it's going to unselect everything, so nothing is selected. If nothing's selected and you press A, it will select everything. Now you have to be careful while doing this because you'll notice the camera turned pink and so did our light up here because it selected everything. So now if I scale, it's going to scale the camera and the light too. And that can give you uh, things you don't want. And also rotating, it's rotating the camera and the light. May not be what you want to do. So how can you quickly select multiple objects without shift selecting each one? Easy. I'll hit A to unselect everything. I can hit B to go into box mode. Now I can left click and drag a box around the items I want. As long as they're touching uh, the box or the border, they're inside the box I create, they are now selected. I can also B and grab two objects, and then I can B and grab these other two objects, and it adds it to what I've already selected. And once again, A is unselect, or A is select all if nothing is selected. Uh, I also want to show you how to uh, duplicate objects if you want to quickly duplicate objects. So let's say I take this sphere and I hit S to scale it and I hit Z on the Z axis and I make kind of a flat little sphere out of it, almost like a frisbee. Now I want to make a bunch of those but I don't want to you know, have to add a sphere and scale each one. What I can do is I'll select it and I'll hit Shift D and that clones it. And I can hit Shift D again and clone it. So you can do that as much as you want. And I can also select more than one item. And I can Shift D and it clones all of them. So that's how you can clone objects. Select objects with select. A to unselect. B to box select. And remember when you're rotating and scaling, it's doing it based on the center of all those objects, not each individual object. If you did want to uh, scale it on an individual object, if you come down to this little button right here, looks like a, right here, looks like a dot with a circle around it, we can select that and go up to individual sense, uh, centers. Now that that's selected, I can hit S, and you can see instead of shrinking them all in t closer to each other, it's scaling each object I have selected in its own place. So depending on what you want to do, if you create an object made out of multiple objects, you wouldn't want to do this because you want to scale them all together. But if you just want to shrink a bunch of objects individually, you can do it this way. 
So that's how you can clone objects, select objects, uh, and multiple select objects, and change how the centers react when you have multiple objects. You can also play around with a few of these other pivot points as they're referred to um, and see how they work. But the two you're going to use most are individual or the default, which is the median point. Uh, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Filmsbychris.com for more tutorials like this. The link is in the description.